What's up, everybody? I'm Katie. And I'm Jesse. Welcome to Scroll View School. Scroll views are all over iOS. The home screen filled with pages of app icons is a scroll view. The settings app lets you scroll through dozens of options because it, too, is a scroll view. If you've taken a look at the App Store lately and seen rows of horizontally scrolling icons stacked in a vertical scrolling view, those are nested scroll views. Web views in Safari are another good example. When there's more content than can fit in a screen, you're probably looking at some type of scroll view. So what is a scroll view? What are they for? Essentially, scroll views allow you to pin a view in place and move around the content inside. That might mean scrolling in one direction, zooming in or out and panning in multiple directions, or paging through multiple entire screens. Scroll views have handy supporting features to do all of that. They can show indicator bars to track your location, hook up to page controls to tell you which page of content you're on, and when the user scrolls past the edge of the content, the scroll view snaps back, letting the user know they've reached the end. There are two parts to Scroll View School. The first part covers the basics of scroll views. You'll start by building your own DIY scroll view to help you understand the frame and bounds properties of views and how those allow all the scrolling action. You'll build an app that lets you zoom and pan around an image and manually center it on a device. You'll also learn how to use scroll views along with auto layout with an app that scrolls vertically through a page of content. In part two, you'll learn how to deal with important edge cases when working with scroll views. You'll embed existing layouts and scroll views, nest one scroll view inside another, deal with intrusive keyboards, and more. As you follow along, be sure to give all of the challenges a try. They'll really help you solidify your understanding and give you practice actually using scroll views. With all of that said, we're ready to get scrolling!